Hello students, welcome back to practice mess. Today in this video, we are going to find the solutions of trigonometry chapter 11th and uh, 11.1 exercise solutions. We are going to find the solution in this video. So before starting to the exercise, we look into some important basics of this chapter. Then only you can understand the exercise. So start with some basic important points here in your textbook only. Here first one 11.1.1 naming the sides in the right angle, right triangle. So right triangle means we know already right triangle how it will become. So this is right triangle here 190 degrees will be there and another angle here another angle will be there total in the uh, right in the triangle there is a uh, how much total value of the angles in this one 180 degrees we already know so one side is if one side is there now so one side 90 degrees is now this is called as a right angle triangle we already know so based on this the total trigonometry chapter will function on this one okay trigonometry total on this right angle triangle or we can make it a any angle as a right angle triangle also we can make like this okay so 1990 will come so what here he uh, in this one we have to uh, like name the sides naming the sides so theta is then at opposite to theta is what this is a b c we think that too so opposite to theta like uh, or, or else we can say that b c is opposite to opposite to theta okay theta or angle a angle a capital a angle a or angle theta and here ac is hypotenuse 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 okay so this will hypotenuse and here bc already is there na? so ab ab is a adjacent to theta adjacent to theta so these are the three, import, three important pointing, uh, points we have to name the right angle triangle. AC is a hypotenuse and this is adjacent to theta here and this is the opposite to theta. So these are the uh, right angle triangle sides and we are uh, and we have to find another things also. In your textbook there is a given 11.2 uh, trigonometric ratios. Trigonometric ratios is given. So based on this uh, given activity you do that one. So you, that is easily we can do. So after listening this class, okay, so we go for this 11.2.1 defining the trigonometric ratios. Here, one sine is there. Sine is a trigonometric function, some uh, trigonometric identity is there and cosine is there and a tangent is there. Tangent, three, these three uh, like uh, trigonometric ratios are there. So we will find this also. Here, sine is a, we can write it as sine theta or sine a we can write it in this one okay in your right angle triangle if you have to write uh, a theta or a b c like this though so this is we can write it as sin a or cos a or tan a we can write so i will explain this one this is also sin b we can write as uh, cos b like this and tan b also we can write it as like this here cosine is there now we can write it as in the form of cos theta or cos b cos b so again here this is tangent we can write it as a tan theta or tan j or b okay tan a or tan b we can write it as anything so here cos a or cos b or cos b also cos c also we can write it as b these a are nothing but as a angles here okay define the ratios in the right angle triangle so right angle triangle we will take here some right angle triangle okay so in this we have to make the ratios define we have to define the ratios in right angle triangle so here i will take b this one in the textbook you are given a b c this is this is 90 degrees we already know this is a theta here we'll think that to angle r so sin of angle a is equal to sin a we can write it as okay this will become uh, sin a is equal to opposite by hypotenuse we will take opposite by opposite to angle a or theta opposite by adjacent uh, hypotenuse we will take hypotenuse and cos of angle a is equal to cos a we can take it as and cos a is equal to means adjacent divided by hypotenuse we will take adjacent divided by hypotenuse we will take here so what is this cos a is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse sin a is equal to opposite by hypotenuse values will take okay so other thing is there na tangent is there tangent tangent angle a is equal to tan a we can write it as is equal to 
so what we will take means here opposite by adjacent we will take opposite by adjacent we will take so these the important ratios very very important for your coming classes and here other thing is there uh, multiplicative inverse multiplicative inverse values we have to inverse inverse values we have to take here so which one inverse multiplicative is sin a multiplicative inverse is equal to 1 by cosecant a will come here or cosecant a is equal to 1 by sin a we can write it as or cos a is equal to 1 by secant a we will write like this or secant a is equal to 1 by cos a will come here this is also here so this is also will come here cosecant a is equal to 1 by sin a we can write this is called as a multiplicative inverse so here will come to this will come here okay multiplicative inverse and a tan a is equal to 1 by cot a we, we can take it as so these are uh, very very important points in your textbook only it's a given so please check in check it once uh, and you will do easily here example 1 is given so if tan a is equal to 3 by 4 then find the other trigonometric ratios of angle a so tan a is given uh, so we have to find sin a cos a okay secant a cosecant a and what is there cot a also is there so we have to find these all angles here another uh, re trigonometric ratios of angle a other trigonometric ratios we have to find here now solution will come like this so i am not uh, doing as per the textbook answer so like uh, more explanative i am doing here so please uh, focus on this one here tan a is given so we'll take right angle triangle one here okay so in this a b and c so what is tan a so tan a is equal to okay opposite by tan a is equal to opposite by adjacent will come now so this opposite how much here three divided by adjacent is how much four so we have to find hypotenuse here so you know Pythagoras theorem na? so Pythagoras theorem is equal to hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square we can write it as or else we can write it as AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square we can write it as so in this I am submitting the values hypotenuse square is equal to side is how much 4 square will come another 3 square will come here it will become 25 because 16, 14 4 is 16 and 3 is 9 so 16 plus 9 here 25 will come and h is equal to under root of 25 will come means here 5 value will come so this hypotenuse is how much here 5 and what we have got ac also we have got and we have we will find here sin a is equal to sin a is equal to what opposite by hypotenuse what is opposite sin a here 3 hypotenuse is how much here 5 means opposite by hypotenuse value we got here and other thing here See, sin a is equal to sin a is equal to 1 by cosecant a na? so cosecant a we can write it as sin a 1 by sin a so means here cosecant a is equal to a is equal to 1 by sin a what is sin by sin a value 3 by 5 na? 3 by 5 it will become 5 by 3 will come cosecant a value is 5 by 3 will come here cos a is equal to cos a is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse means 4 by 5 4 by 5 what is adjacent by hypotenuse here this is okay so from this uh, cos a is equal to secant a secant a is reverse of 1 by cos a na? so cos a value will become here secant a is equal to 5 by 4 will come here another value here tan a already given so tan a is equal to 3 by 4 already given in the question and we can write it as cot a reverse of this one 4 by 3 is the answer of given question here now here second one example if a and p are the acute angles such that sin a is equal to sin p then prove that angle a is equal to angle p he asking us to find now here proof will come like this so he given already in angle triangles in the textbook in the example one okay I am taking two triangles here so first one is a B and C and second one is P Q this is Q R he took like this 
so angle at where acute angles at a p and a so given question is what sin a given question condition is sin a is equal to sin p is given this is an example question okay very 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 important for your board exam please mark that one okay very very important question for your exam and here sin a is equal to sin p sin a is equal to what opposite by hypotenuse opposite by hypotenuse so sin a is equal to opposite by hypotenuse means b c divided by okay b c divided by a c will come here sin p is equal to uh, opposite what is there opposite q r divided by q r divided by opposite by hypotenuse means p q will come here p q so this value will take it as k let okay and after that by using the by using pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem okay so from this pythagoras theorem we will take it as here ab he took ab so this ab is equal to ab is equal to so pythagoras theorem we will write first this one ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square will come here so from this ab he took under root of ac square minus bc square will come here okay from this pqr uh, we took uh, pq whole square is equal to pq whole square hypotenuse na pq square is equal to uh, pr square plus qr square will come so from this i will take ab na pr i will take here i will take pr so pr value here there so it will come here uh, pr is equal to under root of pq square minus qr square will come so this is given in the textbook only please guys this is a pythagoras theorem of pq square is equal to hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square and this i took here that's only nothing more than that so i am taking this ab and pr values here ab divided by pr i am taking here so what is ab under root of ac square minus bc square divided by under root of what is there again uh, this pr is equal to pq square minus qr square here so from this uh, ac square here bc square is equal to this bc is there na so here bc by ac is equal to i am taking k bc by ac is equal to i am taking k so bc is equal to what will come k into ac square in this place i will replace here under root of ac square minus uh, k square ac square will come here this one k into ac will come na so it will become whole square and k square a square will come and divided by pq square is minus then here qr square qr means here there na so this q pq it will go right side of this one and k into k square into p q whole square will come here this one okay i am uh, common from ac from uh, numerator ac if a common to ac square 1 minus k square will come here and divided by p q square common will to 1 by 1 minus k whole square k square will come here these two values will get cancelled here will remain as ac square divided by p q square will come so ac square with this root this root will get cancelled here ac by p q will remain okay given question is that only so here sin a is equal to sin p as a condition we have to prove that angle a, angle a is equal to angle p so here uh, c bc by uh, bc by ac is there na? so bc by ac and one thing is there ab by pr is there so ab by pr is equal to this ab by pr is equal to how much we got ac by pq we got ac by pq is equal to uh, bc by qr will come bc by qr will come so this bc by qr will come this side and this ac goes upside will become bc by qr is equal to ac by pq will come so this type of uh, answer will come so then we can say that angle a is equal to angle p here angle a is equal to angle p this so this is a one very important question you have to practice practice uh, up to 10 times up to 10 times only then you will can understand and you can write in best in the your board exam 
third example consider the triangle pqr and right angle at q right angle at r so we'll take it as uh, uh, one right angle triangle here so it's very uh, gone wrongly so we'll do one thing uh, here this will right angle triangle we are taking right angle triangle so in this right angle it where r so this is r we think that no? this is p this is q and this is r will come here here we have to find a sine cos theta and sine theta okay uh, in which pq is equal to 29 units pq where is a pq so here this is pq 29 units will come here and another things qr is equal to where is qr this is 21 here units okay and uh, l uh, sorry this is angle pqr is equal to theta pqr is equal to theta so here q then find the values of cos square theta plus sin square theta and cos square theta minus sin square theta so these two values we have to find here solution so first we have to find the value of this pr okay hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square we know uh, using the pythagoras theorem okay pythagoras theorem we know hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square in this hypotenuse square is equal to 29 whole square will come is equal to side square is equal to 21 square plus another side square is equal to we have to find 29 square is equal to 8 41 will come here 8 41 will come and another thing is there 21 square is equal to 4 41 plus side square will come so 8 41 minus 4 41 is equal to side square is equal to 400 will come so from this side is equal to 20 will come one side is equal to this side okay side is equal to under root of 400 will come now so this will become 20 i took here this one this 20 is there na? okay so sin theta value will come what so theta from here okay opposite by hypotenuse this one opposite is how much 20 divided by 29 will come cos theta is equal to how much will come from this cos theta is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse this is adjacent from this uh, this q side 21 by 29 will come here so two values we got here cos theta and sin theta so first question is what here cos square theta plus sin square theta na? so cos square plus theta uh, cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to uh, so cos square theta is how much 21 divided by 29 whole square plus sin square theta is equal to 20 divided by 29 whole square so this is, this is 441 divided by 8, 8, 8 41 plus this is 400 this 20 square yeah this 21 square okay now 29 square is equal to 8 41 this is 29 square is equal to 8 41 here this total numerator will become 8 41 will come here lcm 8 41 only will come if we cancel these two things no? one will get the answer means cos square theta plus sin square theta's value is how much one okay and another thing is then a second one we'll do here only second one solution uh, cos square theta is equal to how much we already know cos theta value 21 uh, whole square divided by uh, 29 whole square minus sin square theta is equal to 20 whole square divided by and 29 whole square so it will become uh, 441 by 841 minus 400 divided by 841 will come here so we know lcm already 841 will come uh, 441 minus 400 is equal to 41 is the answer so this is the second one answer of given example these are the total important questions of examples with uh, basics so please go please guys do share and subscribe to my channel i will bring more and more videos for you in english and hindi mediums also okay thank you thank you guys